12 year old girls are stabbing their friends because of a big tall skinny man thing and this is your 40 and slip news A special report out of Wisconsin. Isn't that the cheese state? Wakusha, I think, Wisconsin. Something like they that. They know known for cheese. No? Wa- Wakisha. Wakisha, Wisconsin. Yes. Wisconsin would be the uh the cheese, cheese state. Heads. Cheese Green heads. Bay Packers. Do you yeah. know for the Green Bay Packers? The cheese heads. The cheese heads. Okay. It all sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of girls in this, what is it, Wakusha? Wakisha. Wak- Wakisha. Wakisha. I had a friend named Wakisha once. Mm. If it was in Oklahoma, it would be called Waukesha. Waukesha? Yeah. It might, it might be Waukesha. Could be. A little it joke for all you Oklahomans out there. A yuck. A yuck. A yuck. Which would be me. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, they, but I guess these two girls, like, they wanted to stab this other girl to gain, what, access to the Slender Man's mansion? Mm, They wanted to be proxies of the Slender Man, whatever that means. Accolades. 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 Yeah, but they wanted, uh, they wanted access. Mm. Yeah, it was to earn their worthiness to enter the mansion or something. Yes, worthy of visiting his mansion in the Wisconsin forest. <laughs> because selfie duck faces are no longer good enough. That's right. <laughs> now Where you else get, would... Now you got to stab your friend and go be with Where a tall, would, skinny uh, man in the forest. <laughs> Where else would uh, Slender Man set up his headquarters? But Waukesha, Wisconsin. In the right. forest. Or Waukesha. But have you seen this thing? Like the, you know, the, the Slenderman, the, the fictional description of the Slenderman. Hey, I, my kids play Minecraft all the fucking time. I've seen this thing. Okay, does that look like something that two little twelve-year-old girls would want to go hang out with? No. I mean, isn't that kind of fucked up in its own right? Like that's a oh, pixelated look. box, basically. But I mean, the Slenderman, like it's the creepy fucking stretched out dude. That's yeah. that's so, like the whole idea behind this thing. I've seen all the like pictures that they had, you know, that cuz I I looked up like images of the fucking thing, I guess. Uh, it's a made from what I can gather though, it's like a made up thing. It is. <clears throat> and what were you saying earlier, Steve, that some guy's got the rights to it or something? Yeah, this guy named Eric Nudson is the original creator of the Slenderman. It was on a forum back in 2009. Then they were supposed to be making basically hoax photos of something with a paranormal thing in it. And so he made up the Slender Man and he went under the name Victor Surge, I guess. But anyway, he that's where it came from. Anyway, he owns the rights to it, but there's actually a third party who owns the rights to the uh, Slender Man. So. And there's actually a fourth party who owns the right to stabbing little girls. <laughs> yes. In you know, in, in 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 order to get to the Slender Man's mansion, like that's exactly how it's correct. Going. You know, right? They have the not the digital rights. They have though. they just, have the just, trademark. Just... <laughs> Fucking shit is crazy. Well, what, is is it... the, what is the world coming to where two twelve-year-old girls think that it's like perfectly okay to go stab their friend nineteen times? I think it was yeah 19 times yeah I, what kind of a fucking world do we live in you know T- fucking 19 times 12 years old that, that Parents, doesn't compute you know, be on top of those text messages you know this could have been prevented <laughs> yeah no shit right <laughs> well, hey let's go fuck. stab that friend of ours okay lol they're stabbing their friend over a fictional character. <laughs> that's, the, that's the fucked up part right there. I mean, it's all fucked up. Listen, I never wanted to kill worse. my best friend because of fucking Skeletor. Well, and that was some pretty violent shit. Well, you know, and I never wanted to kill my friends over Bugs Bunny either. But uh, my question is, the people responsible for Slenderman and these Slenderman stories, do they 
tell you to go do stuff like this? No. No, it's also I mean, it's all subliminal, Matt. It's like a Judas Priest album. You gotta play it backwards, you know. I thought that was the Beatles. No, it's they Judas. It, the, the Judas Priest was just one of the ones that Paul got dragged to court. Dead. Paul is dead. Yeah. Is he? Are we gonna do that conspiracy fucking theory next? Is that your next one, Elvis boy? No, Andy Kaufman is my next oh, one. Oh yeah, that's right. I already talked to you about that. You didn't want to do the Andy Kaufman story. I don't know why. No, we can do Andy Kaufman at some point. But... Andy, Andy <clears throat> Kaufman, according Kaufman. to David Letterman. But anyway, yeah. So, and these two 12 year old girls are being charged as adults. Um, <clears throat> Good. And, yeah, 65 exactly. 65 years they face. 65 years. Serves exactly. them right. They're, they're not going to contribute anything further to society, <laughs> I promise. I the, think they're done. There's a state, <laughs> there's a, a case here in Maine, I believe, um, where the uh, young girl got away. She's getting a. a away with it she killed her her infant no oh. did you oh there's another story that came out today where this lady was getting married and she already had a can't. child she didn't kill her infant but she, she drug her infant down the aisle on her bridal train <laughs> <laughs> so two 12 year old girls stabbing their friend kind of sounds you know maybe normal in today's society almost which sucks no no, it's not. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it is normal. I'm just saying, look at the other things. The whole there. deal was horrific. Like, it is they decided horrific. on where to do it, and then they kept changing their minds in the middle of the stabbing, and then like, <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stab you some more. And... Like, yeah, and the, I, I was reading the story. Like, at one point, I guess they had like had it all worked out. They were going to do it, and then they, they wound up backing out because it didn't work out. Like, she wasn't in the right place at the right time or whatever. So, yeah. like, this, this was, like, very fucking premeditated. And they prayed, they prayed on this girl for a very long time. It's, it's, yeah. the, the story is creepy. That, that fucking two 12-year-olds fucking, like, thought out, planned, and stalked this other fucking friend of theirs, or quote-unquote friend, and fucking killed her. Uh, well, I, they didn't kill her at the time of. Or, yeah, they, the time they tried of to kill her. However, she is uh, fighting yeah, for her life. That's right. I'm, I'm sorry. The they tried. They they, they were attempting to kill her though. Right. Like that was their whole idea. They wanted to kill her because that's how yeah. they g gained access to the Slender Man's mansion. Well, they're certainly gaining access to. Yeah, they're going to gain access to something. something. <laughs> it's. It's desensitization, I tell you. It's called general population really in the women's is. prison. But now I, I guarantee you there's going to be an outcry of people holding this Eric Knudsen guy and the creepy pasta site because that's where they found it, you know, responsible for this shit. Of course they are. They're not going to find the parents responsible who should have been no, not, aware they're... of what was going on. Right, and the kids, oh, they can't be responsible. They're only 12. They've seen it on the Internet. It must be true to them, you know. Bullshit. And, like, how... how what was their end game? <laughs> I mean, like, girl comes over for a slumber party, girls leave, girls come back, one of the girls is no longer there. Uh, we don't know what happened to her. Hey, Slender they were man going. They were it. going to hang out with the Slender Man, man. They didn't care. Well, yeah, that was, was their end. Sunshine and lollipops after the Slender Man let him into their yeah, man, his I mansion. Yeah, because I to go hang out with that thing. Well, if the Slender Man really existed and they really believed that, which I think it's probably more of a, you know, no, they're they're, they're twelve. They absolutely believed it was real. Okay, so then that was their end game. And so they wouldn't have had to explain where the girl was because they would be with the Slender Man after that, right? In their minds, apparently. No, they they would have had to gone back and made sure that, you know, and they may have had their cell phones with them, but they would have had to go, like, update their Facebook page about it and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, I, I never thought about that. They're Facebook 12. Page. They'd have taken a selfie with the body. Right. You know. That's horrible. It's fu I mean, they, yeah, it's, it's fucking horrible. Like it's, it's, it's horrible, Matt, but it's fucking true in, with fucking the way shit is nowadays. 
You got people yeah. who fucking sit there. You, you you get videos online of people just literally getting fucking punched and beaten. And what's everybody doing? Just fucking hanging around, watching, recording. Clicking like. Yep. It's it's the fucking society we live in. I, I mean, mm. I myself, I'm guilty of it. When I fucking, when I'm around in public, my fucking head is down. I don't want to fucking make eye contact with people. I don't want to deal with fucking people in public. Because half of the time you're dealing with fucking dickheads. And the other half you're dealing with us. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. But this is just pretty much the the modern day version of, like, the kids that, like, stabbed one another over Dungeons and Dragons. And... Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's just another thing. But it, like, you know, like you're saying, it, they're going to blame it. They're going to try to blame it on the creators of this thing you know the the media will go at will go down that road of what did this you know cause them to do this like when uh, the columbine shootings happened oh, the they, they wanted to blame that shit. on fucking doom and quake and all that shit i fucking played yeah. doom and quake when i was a fucking young man i didn't fucking want to go around shooting people with a nail gun i i played super mario and i never once jumped up and hit a block with my head now you um, see, now you see, I'd have believed more that you did try to break a block with your head. Okay, I admit it. I did. <laughs> but yeah. Video games have uh, bad influence on uh, me. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just another thing of the times, really, ultimately. But it's just, it's a sad state of affairs. When shit like, when, you know, two young girls are, are of the belief that by killing their friend, they're somehow gaining some reward. Because of something they saw on the internet. Right. No, I, I realize, I realize, you know... The, you know what my kids are... fucking do? They run around, they found this video, and they run around going, and I'm a bird! Like, this all the fucking time. And I'm walking away. That's fucking all I hear all weekend long. And I'm a bird! Like, why can't get... these fucking 12-year-olds find that video? Or that story. We get the whole "I'm a snake." Oh video. yeah, yeah. Well, apparently these these children have unlimited access to the internet. I mean, their parents are oblivious right. to what's going on in Listen, their. Listen, my ex-wife gave really? my son an iPhone. My head almost came off my fucking shoulders. My son's got the most basic cell phone he can possibly have, and it's for emergencies. My son is it's 10 years old, phone. and he has an iPhone. He has access to the Internet at all times. He has access to YouTube right in his pocket. I'll just be quiet on this one. Yeah. it's. <laughs> I, 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 my, Matt, We've my, talked about it before, though. Yeah, my fucking head came off my shoulders. There's no reason that a 10-year-old kid should have a fucking iPhone. He had an iPod. Here's the thing. I went outside last night. I live next to uh, some apartments. They're low-income apartments, right? There's kids out there at 11 o'clock at night. You know, the, the parents let them wander the town, basically. And so that's why these 12-year-olds can do whatever they want to do. Dude, I have seen I have seen in some of the ghetto areas, and I say ghetto areas. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to say Maine, it's because... In Maine, they're not really ghetto areas. They're low um, I'm just saying that even some of the uh, better neighborhoods, the parents are letting their kids do whatever they want. So, just dude, I I drove through this area one day, and this area I've ran into kids throwing rocks at cars, throwing snow at cars, um, uh, causing general mischief. Like the cops are called to this area all the time. I drove through one morning, or one no, it was in the afternoon, and there was a kid. In a diaper, walking along the side of the road with no one around for um, anywhere. And this kid's just tooling, like, just tooling down the fucking street, going across the bridge. Then you pulled up next to him and asked him if he was okay. And No, no, you, you can't do that, Matt. You fucking do that like, shit. Want to buy some crack, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> Move on. No, you do that. And you, you do that. For being a exactly. Like you can't do shit like that anymore. You can't. You can't be a proactive citizen because if the fucking parents take take it as a you know a slight, you're fucked. 
There's no Which such thing do. as community anymore when it comes to that shit. No, there's not. I, I like if I saw a fucking kid on the side of the road, I'm sorry, but I, I I'd be very hard pressed to do something. Like there would have to be mitigating fucking you know circumstances that made it so that I was like, okay, I have to step in and do something. Just don't say you want to pet my I dog. Have to document the entire thing. Yeah, get out my GoPro. Okay, <laughs> see over there. There's a child. I'm going to approach it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, that's what you have to do nowadays. I mean, there's stories every day in the news about. Uh, children who were approached by somebody in a van or something. Well, like, I wish those two little bitches day. would have got approached by a van or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I sorry, I don't care. For that. I don't care that they're 12 <laughs> years old. I don't care what they deserve. Any punishment they get. Right. They definitely so. deserve to be tried. They thought like adults. They they acted like adults. They plans they planned out the death of another human being. I'm sorry. They deserve 12, to be waterboarded. Yeah, 12, 12 years I mean, old or not, it doesn't uh, It doesn't matter, you know. But, yeah, let the justice system figure it out at this point, I guess. But I don't, I don't get this shit. Yeah, like Matt said earlier, their contribution to society pretty much ended <laughs> the day they decided to stab another 12-year-old. Yeah. So. And, you know, that, it just, it's just sick. So... We try to be lighthearted, and tonight I, you know, hey, it's just no, it, it hits close because I got fucking young kids that are right around yeah, that. I got a ten, I got a ten year old and an eight year old, and they, you know, they're into like fucking Minecraft and Terraria and, you know, yeah. And stuff. right now, you know, there's um, you know, parents sitting in a hospital room hoping their daughter lives. Because of two because kids two that little thought girls. something was funny or fun yeah. or, you know, a hoot. Or so. would give them some sort of creepy, slender powers. Prize. What's it? Well, I still... I, I, you to get, go inside you get, his mansion? Yeah, like, you, get to, you, get to be stre- you get to be stretched out, Matt, and always look like you're in a funny mirror. Yeah. That's what you get. So. But, yeah. <clears throat> On that note, 